Well, I don't know if we'll ever actually put this up on on the internet because we've defunded the WWW. Yeah, it sucks. You guys fucked it over. We won't necessarily let it destroy itself yet. As the hollow pyramid, you guys have built it up to be the vast monopolizing machine. We'll just defund it and we'll... We'll talk in 2016, eh? If you still exist. Figured this was the best thing we could do for the shareholders. Especially the data shareholders to try and save something. And um, that's uh, just defund it. They'll get the message in short order. They can't go 90 days without. Maybe find uh, something a little more competitive when we re-sign up in the new year. So anyhow, uh, I'm just showing with the locals here. Oh, by the way, <laughs> that's quite an intranet you guys have. And now Telus is going to stick Wi-Fi's in your houses too to go with all your... Oh, wait a minute! <sighs> Wi-Fi meters on your electrical poles. <sighs> well, out to theirs, which is yours, because it's a utility. Even though this fortis is separate from the fortis that generates it out of your water and blah 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 so you have hooked into all your there you have their utility wi-fi servers that go out to these things which is nothing like the cosmic background uh, so anyhow, why are you this camera on to show, uh, sh also to share with the locals? Uh, you're too uranialized now. Maybe we'll come back in a decade. And uh, as you can see, the deer came down, so I let them eat all your grain. But I'm especially prepared to to try and deal without having to water. They ate my stores up on the hill. No water. Fourth generation. It survived all on its own in Oliver BC. No fucking water. And now wild. So anyhow, yeah, let's see if we can find some nice golden stucks. So what I have is basically uh gone back up to uh, White Lake Reserve now needs it. The deer all showed up here. Three different herds. And um, <clears throat> my grains were the only thing that they could eat without getting sick from the uranialized wood ash. Not just Fukushima, but from the downspill of the uh, Oh, what's it called over there? Purple, Purple Lakes Uranium Claim. Just, which is down the spillway from, what do you guys call them? Is it Spotted Lakes? So, let me just show you a natural one that So it'll be another three years before there's any seed ready for you guys. But I, I, I can see this whole valley bottom here is if you quit releasing uranium like the wood smoke that you did uh, on Halloween night, you burnt off more of your root diggings instead of just burying them. Now that the uranium was pulled up yet bound, you released it into the air. 500 Celsius. U308 breaks down into the lower uranium oxides and gets even more mobile and unbound from the roots that you brought it up, dug it up in. You mined that uranium when you did that. I don't care what you think. In fact, you did, and that's how you will be sued for the damages. So, uh, 
Right, let's just find some that's sprouted. I wanted to show you <coughs> how wheat does it naturally. Here we go. See that? Maybe we'll just try and put the light on here. Yes, that should be adequate light here. I'll just pull it up. See how the roots are going down in there? I'll, I'll, I'll plant you a little better. See, there's a large mat so it can just suck its way in, eh? <clears throat> and uh, here, let's bring it into the light where you can get a good view. There we go. Oops, sorry. Don't want to hurt your roots. There's the wheat stalk, right? Just like, just like that. These are all tiny ones. I picked as the forest ash was coming. I, I picked to preserve a, 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 a basic core of the forest generation. So you see how many plants you can get from this one wheat stalk, eh? You germ it like that and then pull it apart, plant it. <clears throat> as opposed to throwing a seed that the mice might come by and eat it. By the way, these fresh seeds, this is a winter based on a winter rye variety. That uh, really three days out of the drought was all it took to start sprouting the ones that were kept in moist uh, trampled down foliage. So there's no need to tail. In this kind of sandy loam, one, what, once you get it started, right? Like there'd be no need to till that. <clears throat> Just uh, come in the spring. If you plant it too early, well then your birds are gonna get it. And I would say an air seeder would shoot it down into there really well. No fucking problem. All right, well, um, I'll give you a look at the dogs. Oh. They already gave you Cindy. Hey Cindy bag. Yeah, you could me. Oh, the deer loved it. You can eat these. Well, not these because these have uranium smoke on them. But uh, I was actually protecting my crop up there because this was going to be. I actually planted all along the road right away to overgrow the noxious weeds. But then you plow them all down and then you pour poison all over them. Just like everything I do there, you fuck sticks, uh, you uranium heads. I can say that because I am one. <coughs> Probably the most poisoned off one of all of you. And yet I'm recovering. Abstinence is the secret. And extracting it and replacing with a proper diet, since it doesn't uptake. Whether it's GE, Fukushima, radionucleides, or our own local, rather benign variety, which is not benign, it's just benign in comparison to deadly, deadly toxins. All right, I'm just gonna scrape a little hole here. And uh, yeah, here's one right where it fell. See, it's just, oop, oop. Yeah, better get you out of the sun. Son, I'll kill your roots, I'll fuck them up and it won't. Now whether it's rooting or turning into stem. Alright, now well, let's get this planted, eh? I'm planting a lot more near the edges where it doesn't get trampled by the dogs down here. Yep, so there you go. We did it. This was a stable seed crop. Now nothing here will be because of all the new radiation release and the forest fire smokes that were allowed to burn wild for I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what that was about. Uh, I see in the in our local uh, <coughs> South Okanagan uh, area. I see there were some ongoing contract disputes. I'm not even looking at that. That's uh, not my problem as a BC fire warden. Uh, per se at this point I'm sure hoping none of you guys were <clears throat> Affected by the uranium smoke and the Fukushima smoke so much that your judgments were off and you 
weren't being as diligent with well I know how it goes when you haven't had your you did the job you want to get paid according to me we agreed so you know uh, let that not that human bullshit of created scarcity get in the way of reality here um, so anyhow my deer are working quite hard to do their natural thing and um, reseed White Lake uh, you got something up there some old seed that's not invasive apply for a permit and you know do your thing <clears throat> let's not lose our topsoil and if that means nothing to you and losing the deer habitat let's secure those loose nukes because that's exactly what it is all this ash is now needs to be locked up back in the biodome like it was safely well not safely but not as harmful as free floating and fucking smoke like you you tit uh, I dug up when you did this last year and I told you not to ordered you not to or SOD came down and did their negligence whatever I'm more interested in reality than you pricks fucking uh, uh, protection racket and, and, and um, scamming at the trough to get the job done and survive and that's your fucking problem that's your dominion that's all you get somebody has to fucking try and worry about all this so anyhow neighbors uh, remember the animals are still displaced if you got spare feed to give them deer or whatever that are displaced till they're uh, something good to eat back up there because remember now all their food's going to be radiologicalized so they have a well we all have a whole nother nuking and all that Fukushima that now came down from the condensers on the top where all the snow falls and the rain that was remobilized when it was burnt off well not there but over there on Wilson Mountain and uh, uh, what's the other one Testolina Creek no well around that area We got huge ecological disasters. <clears throat> I dare say we've probably picked up another trillion dollars on the west coast of North America from the California fires that were allowed to burn and make this carbon taxing show. Of, well, look, it's the climate change. Well, yeah, what else is it? Oh, you let them get out of control and then you exposed tens of thousands of prisoners to all this Fukushima respread in the uh, forest fire smoke. A lot of you are going to jail. Good luck in there. <clears throat> I'm sure you'll get exactly what you deserve for your criminal negligence causing harm and death. Japan, you're over with. A lot of you are going to international criminal court. Same with a lot of the Harper government. Uh, I'm imagining you down in the south, uh, in the states there along the west coast will be making a public deterrence as you start <clears throat> dealing with your criminal negligence. As I said, Homo sapien, uh, your, your little pipe dream about man's dominion over my earth, over. Actually, you're over and so is all the life forms. That's what you fucks have done with the likes of Fukushima and Chernobyl and Yurt and pretty soon Hanford, Washington down south, the Plutonium Reserve. You're all over. Uh, now we have to wipe you out of the way, so how do you want to get out of the way? Because you're not intensifying your harm to try and, I don't know, squeeze out the last bit of blood and suffering out of your fucking lame defunct protection rackets. Okay? All of it's over. Take your fucking belief systems, keep them to your fucking self. You are not fucking committing war crimes, genocide crimes against all the others of your kind, my kind, those dogs' kinds, my kind's already extinct, but you know. Okay, there you go. <sighs> so, you get no Mars rated grains, I'm sorry, locals. We'll uh, consider your need in 10 years' time or so if you quit polluting 
respread needless completely needlessly pumping up fucking uranium water and spraying it all over these fields and then churning it up and churning it up so as it goes into the fucking dust like you, you people need to be hanged you're doing this all knowingly i fucking told you i'm, I'm done i'm done with you all the evidence has been turned over to the world to your fellow citizens already like i say between this and the fukushima what i've seen here we're not talking hanford that's Gugillions. That's the end. The end of Earth forever. When that breaks. When that flushes down the Columbia and out into the Pacific Ocean. Over. Everything it's over with. Unless something can fucking adapt to plutonium. Alright. Well, good luck killers. Your dominion is already over. Keep going. Soon you'll snuff yourselves out too. Which is probably the simplest thing. I guess that's nature's way, and then we just carry on without your impedance and continued harm. If that's the kind of harm reduction you fucks are into, then so 